Welcome back. My next guest is Ryan Claridge, and he is the owner of Claridge Family Law. Welcome to the show. He's uh, never been on the show before. Um, but uh, there's so many people out there that have been really getting angry right now this time of year, all the year, all the, all forget it, all the time. But somehow, right now, they kind of holding off because they want to get their gifts. <laughs> you know, they want to wait till after the new year, and then, bang, they're ready. Welcome to the show. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what we're going to talk about today. Well, good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Ryan Claridge. I'm the attorney owner at Claridge Family Law. Uh, I've been doing family law now exclusively for about two years, and I live in Phoenix with my wife and daughter. Okay, so let's talk a little bit first. Why do people need to have an attorney when it comes to filing for divorce? Sure. Well, even in an uncontested situation, divorce can get complicated. It's not something that um, any layperson wants to do, let alone do competently. Um, they just There's things that they don't understand, things about the law, things I went to law school for that I can help you with. Now, do you do free consultations? Absolutely. Okay, so he does free consultations. You're located in Scottsdale, and your website is Claridge, which is spelled C. L A R I D G E, uh, familylaw.com. You're located in Scottsdale, but you can help anyone from anywhere. Correct. I'm in the Guinea Ranch area at Scottsdale Road and Double Tree, uh, not too far from the Butterfly Wonderland, uh, but I can help people valley wide. Okay. And uh, again, that website is claridgefamilylaw.com. His phone number direct it's 480 290 8604. He works with everyone valley wide and he is rated with the Better Business Bureau. So let's go back to some of these things. What is a little bit a bit different about your practice? What makes you different? Because I'm a solo practice, meaning I don't have a staff, I don't have a high overhead, um, but going back to the fact that I'm a solo, um, nothing falls through the cracks. I'm able to offer personalized service. Uh, when you go to, you go to other attorneys uh, from larger firms, even medium-sized medium -sized firms, Everyone's job in the firm is to protect the attorney from the client, uh, to create barriers, which I think is ridiculous. You're paying a lot of money uh, for for an attorney. You should, you should get that personalized service right along. So that, that number that we gave out, that, that goes right to me. Now, when somebody, uh, well, before somebody was even on the air today, they had said what they really want to know more than anything is what's the cost of a divorce? And the reason why is because that's a lot of people hold back. They'll stay together just because they think they can't afford it. Sure, I understand that. And, you know, there's some myths out there, um, but there are, there are some bad attorneys out there. A, a divorce can cost you fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 and up. Uh, my typical divorce, um, the high end is usually right around $10,000. Here's another thing I think, and everybody should listen up. You know, um, when you're with an att your husband, and they always say, they say, oh, wife, it could be even that way, the other way around. Uh, don't worry, I am not going to hurt you, right? And you, so you don't get an attorney. Well, it's very important that you do, because when you don't, things happen, and if it's too late, it's too late, right? You can't, ch or you'd have to go back to court, it could end up costing you even more money. Correct. I mean, I tell people, you know, when they're thinking about the cost of an attorney, they really can't afford to not have an attorney. They can't afford to be their own attorney because often there's some remedial work that needs to be done, some some undoing. And so often I hear about two spouses, one spouse is sort of leading the other on. Lo and behold, they have a trial date and one attorney shows up, um, one party shows up with an attorney and just hoodwinks the whole process. So even if you're having, that's not to say that divorce has to be nasty, has to be difficult, but it just makes sense to have an attorney with you. It does because a lot of things can happen and I didn't and I'm sorry for it. I really am. So uh, even if he's listening, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you can, you're located in Scottsdale and Ganey Ranch area, though you can help anyone valley-wide. Your phone number direct, it's 480-290-8604. The website is Claridge, C-L-A-R-I-D-G-E, familylaw.com. Uh, okay, so um, besides divorce, what other areas do you practice? Well, divorce is, is more than half of my practice. Uh, the other areas of law that I practice um, are sometimes included with a divorce, but sometimes without. Uh, probably the biggest second area are child custody cases when the either parents were never married or they're modifying something that came out of their divorce. 
I can also handle guardianship and adoption cases. Now, okay, so there's a lot of people out there that have been holding back. You know, they wanted the gifts, they got the gifts. Now it's New Year's, they just don't want to have a good time. You know, they're going to wait till the first of the year. Does that, or is it more important for them to call, get that, that consultation with you now so that it's lined up? Right. I'm- Pull the trigger. Right. It's the the best time to get going is when you're thinking about it. Uh, going through a divorce, even from the hiring of an attorney all the way to the final trial date, is an emotional process. So you don't want to rush through it, but when you're ready to make a decision, you should, like you say, pull the trigger. Um, and you don't want the attorney that you, you know, you you mesh with well uh, be unavailable because you waited a bit longer and you get stuck with not necessarily an attorney that is not as qualified but maybe one that you don't get along with as well. All right, And it's very important to do a free consultation. You'll need to know exactly what your needs are and uh, to find out uh, whether this is something that you do want to do. Do it now. Don't wait uh, because uh, you know after the, the next year it's just going to be pulling on that uh, you know putting it off something that needs to be done. Just find out now by doing a consultation if you have any questions maybe you even have been through a divorce and now you need someone can they do that you know maybe they like me I could have used to have called a divorce attorney after uh, like when my kids turned 18 and I realized I wasn't going to get any more even though they were living with me you know what I mean exactly so there's a lot of reasons why right and there's a lot of a lot of misinformation out there um, you know that's that's why we have law school that's why we have a bar there's a lot of amateur attorneys out there your friends your colleagues kind of like amateur comedians at the office they're giving you bad advice. It's not real advice. It's it's rumor. It's hearsay. It's urban legend, if you will. Um, so if you want to hear about something that's to do with the law, talk to an attorney. So the number to call him again, it's 480-290-8604. He's valley-wide, rated with the Better Business Bureau. His website is Claridge, C-L-A-R-I-D-G-E, familylaw.com. A lot of, do you have a lot of information on your uh, on your website for people who sometimes they have questions that they have? I like to think so. There's a there's a question and answer section on there. Um, I'm happy to answer questions if I have time if, if they call in as well. Okay. So, um, how long if somebody was going to you know how long do these divorces take? Sure. Well, with a with an attorney like me, uh, you're going to be closer to the the faster end. The goal in Maricopa County from from the bench from the judges, they want your divorce done within six months. Um, I can move it along a bit faster than that. Certainly, rarely longer than that. Do they have to go to school? Do they have is that waiting period still in, in in? Do they have that still where they have to wait a certain amount of time before they actually go through the, the divorce? Did the court stuff have like that waiting period? The only waiting period we. Do deal with is 60 days from the day that the um, the petition is served on the other party. Okay, and in terms of it, um, when when somebody does go through it, if they're uh, wanting divorce a certain amount of time, like they're they're mad, they want to get it done. Should they should they get a legal separation? What are the differences between those? Uh, you know, th- are they the same? Pra- pragmatically, a divorce and a legal separation are are the same. At, at the end, you have a split financial community in both. The difference in legal se- separation is once it's over, you're still technically married. And sometimes people want to do that for health insurance reasons, religious reasons, or they just don't want the, the stigma of, of being technically divorced. Right. We're going to go to a break, and when we come back, I want to talk further about some of the different areas that they may not know about that you can help them with. Sure. I'm talking about divorce. There might be some, some questions that they might have. We have our lines. Uh, uh, well, we're not. they're not open, but uh, you can call him direct at 480-290-8604. He's located in Scottsdale, the Ganey Ranch area, but can help anyone valley-wide. Rated with the Better Business Bureau. The website is Claridge, C-L-A-R-I-D-G-E familylaw.com. When we go to a break, we're going to come back. I want to talk further. What would be one of your first things to tell them for now, what what to do? Because a lot of people, they just got in a lot of fights over the, uh, the last couple of days. Go ahead. Calm down. Uh, come talk to me, and I'll get you feeling better. Um, it's a scary process, but it's not one you have to do by yourself. It isn't, and it's not one that you should do by yourself. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go to a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk further. Our number here, or his number is, sorry, 480-290-8604. It's ClarageFamilyLaw.com. Trade it all if I gave it. 
So welcome back. Uh, we're talking with Ryan Clearage, and he is the owner of Clearage Family Law. And we were talking at the break, and one of the things that you said that you really want them to understand is how you keep your costs down for people. Listen up, everyone, because this is important. One of the reasons why a lot of people don't even go, go for the divorce is because of the money. So go ahead. Thank you. A- absolutely. The um, the way I keep costs down is I'm a I'm a small firm. I'm a solo practice. Um, I don't waste money with a you know a lavish office. I have a simple office that works just fine. Uh, I don't have a paralegal. Oftentimes, if you're reviewing your your bill, you'll see the paralegal's hours and you'll see the head attorney correcting those hours. It's just it's just a waste of time. Um, there's a lot less mistakes, a lot less room for mistakes in my practice because I am the only one involved. Um, I counsel clients on every course of action they want to take and the prospects of success and how much it's going to cost. So by giving my, my client more information, they're able to be involved in the process of, of keeping costs down at all. I don't sacrifice any level of competency. I get the same results. I get great results. Um, but we don't, we don't throw good money after bad, as they say. Um, and my costs are predictable. Now, again, you're located in the Ganey Ranch, Scottsdale area, though he can help anyone valley-wide. Uh, he's rated with a Better Business Bureau, and he's all about well. He's all about making it cost affordable for you with getting good service. That's the, that's exactly right. That I mean, I've I've worked in other firms um, in different different areas of law, and I've just sort of learned what not to do, how not to run a firm, and just seen seen the wasted money. Um, and if it if it doesn't produce a better result, then then what's the point? Um, you're just you're just cre- even in the in, in the most affluent cases, divorce is still a you know a near catastrophic financial event in some cases. So every dollar is important. And if you think that you can do it on your own, you can't. I mean, there's a lot of times people will try. They'll try and do it online. You know, they'll try and get the paperwork online, right? Right. Or uh, they they want to uh, file. They want to do certain things themselves and file themselves, and they make mistakes. Right. And and, and again, um, you know. You, Retaining an attorney can be expensive, but you really cannot afford to not have one because the cost of undoing those mistakes is exponentially greater than the money you technically saved by, by not having an attorney. You do free consultations. I do. Right. And so you can call him direct. The number is 480-290-8604. And uh, the website is claridgefamilylaw.com. It's C-L-A-R-I-D-G-E. I've been on the website as we've been talking a little bit, especially at the break. And uh, I said, there's so much we can talk about. And one of right. them, I mean, you know, they're each individually, everybody doesn't realize that there's so much that goes along with a divorce. There's not just the family, you know, the immediate family. Then there's also the grandparents. We have grandparents' rights. Those are things that, that people can, uh, they, they, that they too are a part of it as well. Um, and also whether or not do you do these uh, prenuptials or whatever. There's so much that goes involved. The, the, there really is. When people think family law, you know, they think divorce, um, and that's it. When, when I say I'm a family law attorney, people think I'm saying that as a nicer way to say I'm not just a divorce attorney. But divorce is, you know, it's more than half of my practice. Uh, but another huge area is child custody when the parents were never never even involved. Maybe they only knew each other for one night, um, but certainly not married. Um, and then other areas are grandparents' rights. Um, prenuptial and postnuptial agreements are a great way to, um, before the the event even happens to mitigate the cost of a divorce, maybe even prevent the the hiring of attorneys because you can have everything mapped out. So there's a lot of reason why to uh, talk to an attorney. The number is 480-290-8604. It's claridgefamilylaw.com. Why did you select family law? Family law found me. I um, in California. I did some criminal law, some DUI law. In Arizona, I did some immigration law and some criminal law. Uh, but I found I was really just uh, mitigating. I wasn't really helping people. Um, helping people to an extent, but not as much as, as you can in family law. They say in criminal law, it's uh, bad people on their best behavior. 
and, and I think that it's also the same with family law well, because well, there's fa- a lot of people who are on their worst behavior family in law, their family when they're drinking. <laughs> family law is usually good people at their worst behavior. So right. There's really an opportunity. There's there's to mold people back and get them back on track um, to to their positive lives. So right now, like I've said before, I mean, I was joking, but it's true. A lot of people are holding off because it's, you know, the end of the year. They want to just have a really nice New Year's. They don't want to start anything. Um, th- normally, uh, what can they expect? What do they need what, what, when they start to talk to you? Do they have to have uh, to get prepared? Well, there's a lot of things that will get resolved in, in your divorce process. We cannot possibly get into all of them or come close to resolving all of them in that first consultation. Um, really, um, we need a general idea of, of what your goals are in the divorce. I uh, need everyone's uh, biographical information. And the, the consultation you know, really do, doesn't need to take more than an hour. Um, it's all the information that I need is information that we can extract in, in a very simple conversation. Obviously, the most people want is not to have to pay a lot of money, you know, because basically the child support isn't that just done pretty much by a, 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 a measurement of what they have, like a I don't know what you would call it. You'd know that sure. uh, for, for, with the courts for, for child support. There there, there is a, a strict rubric, you know, based on how much each spouse earns, uh, child care costs, things like that, and of course the income of both parties. Uh, for spousal support or alimony, there really is no um, codified um, rubric, so that can be sort of a wild card. How about all those people like uh, me, who uh, when they when they were going through their divorce d- divorces at that time, their their husbands were not there. There was a crash. There was a change, you know, in the economy, so they all didn't have to pay as much money, right? Sure. Or then they they or they never went through the courts. Can they call you again? Can they can they bring that up again. What has it work? Well, if you think your spouse's income, who's supposed to be paying child support, or if you're the one paying child support, has uh, has increased or decreased significantly, then then it's definitely wor- definitely worth a consultation, and I can show you uh, what the change in child support would be. Also, there's times when you know you're uh, the, the the there's reasons also too. Let's say your uh, alimony. I'm just giving things of things that I knew uh, that I've uh, that I went through that they might be questioning. But alimony, if it's non-negotiable, you can get it forever, right? Might be another reason to pick up the phone and call them <laughs> that you didn't get it. Go ahead. Right, and and that is something I can do. I can have a look at your your divorce decree um, because what what is written and what it actually means might be different. That's right. And again, that number to call. They're all laughing here, but it's so true. Nobody. They're young. They're laughing. But if they've been through it, if anyone's been through it like me, they'll know what I mean. Right? You know what I mean. I, I, absolutely. And 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 divorce. Uh, there's there's nothing funny about divorce, but um, one of the things that my clients like about me the most is I am I can inject some humor into into a rather dark place and I can I can't make divorce fun but I can make divorce more tolerable well more than anything there's many many reasons to make sure that you have all your I's dotted and your T's crossed beforehand if possible and if not things come up all the time and it's a good idea if you didn't have an attorney to have a consultation with him he might be able to help you uh, anyone who's thinking about it it's just don't wait have the consultation the number to call them again it's 480-290-8604 the website is claridgefamilylaw.com and he's located in the Ganey Ranch area in Scottsdale but he can help anyone in the whole entire valley As and he's also rated with the BBB what would be some of your words that you would want to get out before we go today if you're struggling with a family law decision um Take the plunge, have that consultation. Um, you might find out that uh, you don't need an attorney. You might find out that you don't need to go to court at all. But you know, it's not a gr- never a good idea to stay in the dark. So have that first consultation. Um, learn more about the process. Become more comfortable with it. There's a lot of people also that did get engaged. You know, for the uh, the Christmas season. Now, what about talking to them about a little bit about uh, a prenup? What that what that would mean to them? If they did something like that. Give the gift a prenup for somebody. <laughs> well, if they want to get a, pre- a premarital agreement, you know, it needs to get done before the before the actual wedding. Um, you can always get a postnuptial agreement, but those are even harder to convince your spouse of. Um, you know, after after right. the marriage, no way after the marriage <laughs> ceremony. But if you think about it as a planning tool. Um, 
it, it, again, it's just it's it's being proactive. You know, things happen, um, incomes go up and down. It's it's a nice tool to have there. So, you, and the way I write them, you would never actually need a divorce attorney. Well, you, it's a very good idea to have a consultation, whether or not you're thinking about having one right now, or whether or not you've been through something and you've you're, there's some changes and you or you didn't have one like me when I went through and it was a good idea that I maybe have called someone. Pick up the phone. The number is 480-290-8604. Again, that website is Claridge, C-L-A-R-I-D-G-E, familylaw.com. He's rated with the uh, Better Business Bureau Valleywide. Again, that number is 480-290-8604. Hang tight. We'll be back in just a minute. 